Hi guys, this is Mquan here from the Mquan Project with another video review. This time it's a review of another iPod Touch case that I that I um, was given. Um, uh, those of you that have seen my previous video, you know that I um, purchased this from Amazon. This is a simple sort of iPod Touch case. It's nice, very simple, very elegant, I think, um, to carry your iPod around with you. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the um, the MP3 uh, player features of the iPod initially, but um, I've been using the MP3 player on this a lot more than I thought I would, and that's... Uh, resulted in a bit of a problem for me. As many of you guys know, one of the limitations of the iPod is the fact that there's a lack of um, uh, Bluetooth um, function and support. So that means that I've had to say sort of bye-bye to my... Uh, second, sorry about that. I've had to say uh, use actually my uh, wireless headset less and less, which is a, is a real shame. I don't know if they're going to come up with with uh, the ability in the new uh, firmware to to be able to use the Bluetooth features on the iPod Touch. Now, uh, this is a second generation, and I've been reading around online, and there's a lot of rumors suggesting that there may be um, a Bluetooth chip in here, which works with the Nike uh, feature, the Nike Plus feature. So it may be a possibility that Apple may unlock that or sort of... I don't know, there may be an application that will allow users in the new firmware to to use the Bluetooth wireless headset. But anyway, in the meantime, we're going to have to stick with good old standard headphones, and that's caused a bit of a problem. I have to put this in my pocket, and I don't wear many things that uh, have a sort of top pocket. So that means that the wire that I have connected to the iPod uh, Touch gets quite tight and it's happened a few times where you know either the iPod has come out of my pocket or the headphones have come out of my ears which has resulted in major frustrations so um, I saw quite a few reviews online for this baby called the Belkin uh, armband and today um, it just arrived in the post this is it here so let's throw this away so this is like a mini unboxing as well at the same time so I, I've done a bit of research and this is something that came up, I think um, this was like £9 or something like that from Amazon, um, it's supposed to be brand new, um, I've already done a, you know, remove, done a sort of mini unboxing myself but I removed the, um, the seal so the seals have been broken on this. But uh, let's just have a look at the box very quickly, it's a very simple box, um, there's a case in there and it's not an iPhone, it's actually just a... Uh, gimmicky thing there just to show you what the iF iPod or iPhone I don't think this actually fits the iPod it may do but it, it's definitely going to be tight for that but as far as the iPod 2G or first generation is concerned it should fit that relatively well um, what else there's nothing much on the box I mean it's pretty much straightforward self-explanatory as well um, and, and that's it let's just get into there and open it out so you guys can see and this is the case, first of all. There's nothing else in here. I'm surprised that, you know, Belkin has used so much, so much, um, you know, packaging for such a simple thing. I'm sure there could have been an easier way of, of having this packaged. I'm not a big fan of uh, wasting uh, resources. But anyway, so this is the case. This is what it looks like. First of all, it's a very simple, uh, it's supposed to be a Nuprane uh, case, so it's flexible. This is the belt area thing. Let's just remove this, put that down to one side, and you can see that it's a very simple um, case, thingy majiggy. Uh, you've got it working via the Velcro, so my understanding is, is that you put it through one of them or two of them, depending on how fat or thin your arms are and and that's it it seems pretty sturdy actually surprise when I first opened it out I thought this would be a bit of a joke but it seems pretty sturdy uh, let's just move that out of the way um, okay so we've got this little pocket thing here which I think is really cool I think black on red looks always looks quite yummy so that looks really nice um, I think you can store either your headphones in here or maybe like a gym locker key or something like that um, 
and the back you may be able to store like a card or something you know some of these gyms have cards so you may be able to store a card there you've got to cut out for the charger um, there you've got to cut out for the headphones cut out obviously to get your iPod in let's remove this thingy majiggy out uh, okay no need for that where's the iPod okay let's take the iPod out of here move that to one side okay it's locked right let's see if we can put this in so I've seen other videos which have shown it to be a bit tricky uh, it's even more tricky when I'm trying to look through the lens but um, there goes the iPod in there yeah well it's a tight tight fit understandably I suppose I mean this is designed for when you guys go to the gym and go sort of running and things like that so it's okay it's sort of fitted in there quite well push it all the way down yeah you can see the headphone jack there I can see the charging pod there um, it's got some stuff going on here for the volume rocker I'm not sure if that's gonna work um, and then that's that it's got this um, plasticky thing at the front which I'm not sure really um, a lot of people have complained about it being you know there's a lot of air so it, it may render the touchscreen unusable let's just find out why well, yeah, it seems to be working okay. Um, let's see. You know, it's okay actually. I'm surprised it's not as uh, bad as I thought. Let me just log in there. Okay, and let's go to the music player. Mm. This is gonna be funny. Turn it on its side. Okay. seems to be working okay actually and should we put the volume up ah it's a bit of an issue so as far as the keys are concerned it's not easy to put the volume up on this there's some sort of key rocker thing there okay <clears throat> okay let's hit the play button Okay, it seems to be working okay. Again, the touch screen is okay there. Um, but the the ultimate test is to see, to give it a, a go actually out on the road, which I, I may do and I may make a separate video of that um, and see how well it sort of performs. Now, um, overall, it seems like it's quite a, quite a good... Uh, quite a good sort of um, fit and things but obviously you know one needs to sort of take it out on the road to see how well it sort of works um, so I'll do that and we can check that out and then I can give you guys maybe a video review on that maybe even show you this baby in action but one last thing that I want to do is is I want to just uh, let's see if I can take it out and see how easy it is to take out so let's say I decide I don't want to use this, I'm going to go in for a business meeting or something and I want to take my iPod in the nice classic case, how do you take this baby out? Well, you have to pull it out like that, that wasn't too difficult, I mean I saw some of the other videos where people were struggling but that wasn't too bad, so it's okay. So this is a, a very quick unboxing of the Belkin iPod uh, 2G touch armband thingy and I'll give it a, a test maybe today and make a video while I'm using it show you guys how it works. That's uh, M. Kwan. Um, seems like I'm doing more and more iPod uh, videos. But anyway, um, remember to subscribe and uh, uh, join my Twitter, either that side or that side, depending on where you're watching this video. And uh, leave your comments and feedbacks. Um, in the meantime, take care and be safe.